Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. It's Tarot Tuesday and we are playing A Touch of Evil. And we are going against the Werewolf. Alright, so the Werewolf... <laughs> um, see, those are stats right there. The Werewolf's brutal savagery is masked only by his hunger for fresh prey. The Werewolf hits on a roll of 4, 5, or 6. Lair cards always cost three investigation regardless of the Shadow Track's current position. Curse of the Werewolf. Any hero KO'd in a fight with the Werewolf is automatically scratched and must take a Curse of the Werewolf card. During each fight round, the Werewolf's attacks are resolved before the hero gets to attack. <coughs> Children of the Night. Anytime the mystery card Murder is played, Roll a die 6 on a roll of 4 plus. Put a feral kin at the same random location as the investigation. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so the werewolf is basically a big tough brawler. For lack of a better world. Better word. Here's his little minion chart. He has terror eyes. Uh, discard the top card of each location deck as well as the top card of the event deck. Shadow Track move one step closer to darkness. Each hero gains two investigation. We have the Rat's Nest, and we'll go over this. Um, we have Rats and Rat's Nest. We'll go over this as this comes up. We have Feral Kin, which are little werewolves, and werewolf attack, okay, on its chart. Let's have a look at our heroes. <clears throat> we have Victor Dansforth, the play right here. Um, these are his stats right here. Spirit, cunning, combat is his weakness. Uh, when rolling for movement, draw an event on the roll of one or two. And a flare for the dramatic as an action may pay for investigation. Take any card with the quote with quote marks in the title from the event discard pile. We have Katrina the Outlaw. And this is her right here. Deadly when rolling fight dice hits on a four, five, or six. And then we have Valeria the Eternal. And this is her right here. She is a vampire. Automatically heals D3 wounds at the end of a fight round in which she defeated an enemy. This may pre prevent her from being KO'd, immune to curses. So she will never get the curse of the werewolf. Gains one investigation each time the shadow track moves a step closer to darkness. Uh, I have to remember that, I forget. May not use gun items and may not use or carry cards that are holy or that give a bonus against vampires, including town el elders. So she's a, I guess, a good vampire. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do. Um, we'll start with Victor. We, he wants to go to the manor. So. He rolls a five, and it looks like he's going to get one, two, three, four, and we are at the manor. And if you don't know my uh, homebrew rules for Touch of Evil, um, probably watch the first video, but just quickly, they, each character has to visit a location, one location on each board, and so my heroes don't just hang around that board right there. And I randomly draw for him, and he got the manor. So he got the manor for this board, the Forgotten Island for that board, and the lighthouse for that board. Each one will have a different one for each board. Okay, well, it looks like he got the Book of Riddles, plus one cunning. Once per fight round, you may pay three investigation to add your cunning to your combat for a single attack. It's actually a good card. Now he has a four cunning. Hmm. So I want to kind of like stockpile some investigation for him because you know, I do that. All right, so it's Katrina. She rolls a five. She has to get to the windmill. Uh, one, two, three, four. She gets there, and it's, and this is uh, they have to go to each location on each board, a location on each board before they can buy a Larry card for the showdown. They cannot start the showdown until they do that. Torch. You may ignore the effects of cards with keyword weather. Once per fight round, you may force an opponent to re-roll one of their fight dice against you. After each use, roll a d6 on a roll of 1, 2, discard the torch. So we're starting off somewhat decent. And Valeria has to go to the abandoned keep. 
She rolls a one, so she's not getting there. We'll go there. She's gonna get to draw an event. And this is ritual protection. Play to cancel any mystery card that's keyword death. Well, that's a good one. And then of course, just draw another event. Plenty here to prevent them from moving this turn. That hero must roll. Yeah. Man, painful truth. Well, the only good thing about that is getting an investigation. Okay, well, that is it for our heroes. Not a bad start. Let's go ahead <clears throat> and do our mystery phase and see what happens. And we have blocked road. Draw a random location and place a blocked road marker in any one empty space, Jason. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw a random location, and it is the fields. So we're going to put a blocked road marker. Uh, we'll put it right there, next to the fields. And we have to move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. All right, there we go. And she will gain an investigation. Okay. All right, let's move our first player token. We'll be using that this turn to Katrina. She can move five. And she will go one, two, three. Does she need to train anything? Um No, not really. Uh four. And we'll just stop here at the magistrate's office and we'll draw an event. And, and that'll be it. And she will get gossip and rumors. Play any time to immediately peek at the secrets of one town elders. Okay, that might come in handy. Alright, Valeria, she's got to go. She rolls a one again. She's not getting to the abandoned keep. And that's gossip and rumors again. And now the playwright, he rolls a three. Um, one, two, three. All right. Uh, do I want to? No, I want him to hoard his investigation. I'm not. He's got a good enough spirit. We'll just gain an event, and he gets. If I could just reach play to immediately take any item out of any discard pile. Well, we don't have anything out of any discard pile, so we'll save that. All right. It's the mystery phase. Let's see what we have. We have murder. Okay, now we do have a, we are going to play this. Play to cancel any mystery card that is keyword death. This does have a keyword death. So we have canceled that card. All right. And that's Valeria's again. And she finally makes it to the abandoned keep. And we have the dark keep. Make a cunning 6 plus test and gain 3 investigation for each 6 plus roll. If fail, move the shadow track 2 steps closer to darkness and each hero... Ooh. Okay, she has a cunning of 3. Mmm, man. That's a penalty right there, boy. That's a horrible card. I can't cancel. I don't have anything to cancel that card. Let's just hope she makes a six, man. <gasps> she does. Look at that. There we go. Three investigation. I will take it. Wow. And best of all, though, we don't have to do any of this. All right. Well, that's the abandoned keep. Okay. It's a Victor, he going six, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's at the crossroads, and we will roll a d6. Oh, well, that was not good. So we will draw a mystery card. Ugh. They brought this evil. Every hero in a name space, and that's everybody. Must immediately roll a number of dice equal to their honor. For every five or six, they gain one investigation. For every one or two rolled, they take one wound or lose one item or ally. Okay, uh, Victor has a three honor. All 
Okay, well, now he, he's going to take one wound. But he did get this. So he will gain one and two investigation. All right, she has five on her. Katrina does. All right, well, she gets three investigation. And she has three on her. Ooh, wow. She gains one investigation, but she's going to take two wounds. Yee. That was not good. Okay, and then we have to move to Shadow Track one step closer to darkness, which will give her actually another investigation. And she needs to go see the doctor. Wow, okay, that was Victor's crappy turn. And then Katrina. One, two, three, four, five. Just go to the end. Six. All right, let's see if she can gain any of this investigation. No. And then she has to roll a d6. A uh, three plus, she gains an event. And that is plan on a hero to allow them to add their spirit to their combat for one round. Wow. Okay. Well, that that kind of went a little bad. That turn. We got to get Valeria to the doctor. But it's the mystery phase. Let's see what's going to happen. Roll once on the villain's minion chart and place that minion on the board at a random location. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Okay, so this is moving here. Should gain an investigation. Let's see what event or minion. Well, she's going to get a feral kin and put it at the manor. So we have a feral kin at the manor here. We were just there. Okay, all right, Victor, you're up. He rolls a six, so he's going to go one, two, three. And let's see if he can try to pick up this investigation. Yeah, no, well, we're going to just move him. He's going to go to the Forgotten Island. Let's see what he gets here. Journal pages. Make a spirit four plus test gain two investigation for every four plus rolled. Okay. Wow, two, four, six investigation. It's good that we're stockpiling it. And there he goes with that. Katrina. Okay, she will go to the inn before encountering. Gain two investigation or heal one wound. She will gain two investigation. And let's see. Coachman, you may move an extra two spaces. Okay, as long as you're not in the fields or marsh. Alright, she has an ally. Alright, and then Laria there. Three. One, two, three. Okay, she will gain an event. Uh, played a lot in here to roll any number. And then she was going to heal. Uh, heal wounds for one investigation each, so she will heal two wounds. And that is the end of her turn. Mystery phase. Alright, the villain attacks, killing one of the town elders. Ugh, roll a d6. Any town elder with cunning equal to that number is rolled, rolled is killed. Each hero gains two investigation. Okay, well this is going to be, this is going to be a bad turn. So let's give everybody two investigation for the get-go. Okay, and let's now roll a d6. I rolled a three. Anybody with cunning equal to three? Well, that's Lord Hambrook. He's the only one killed. So this guy is dead. Now, what that's going to do. <clears throat> mm. Okay, well. And that's going to move this two times. One, two. And it's going to give uh, him a plus two. 
And now, uh, of course, she will gain to investigation. And now we got to roll on the mystery phase advanced because we have crossed into a new territory. Okay. Four. That's probably not good. Roll a d6. Any town elder with honor equal to or less than the roll gains one secret. If any town elder has three secrets, immediately reveal them. Okay. Uh, roll low five. Oh, shit. Okay. So anybody with honor of five gains one secret. Okay, well, she will gain a secret. Reverend Harding will gain a secret. Dr. Manning will gain a secret. Magistrate Croft will gain a secret. Uh, Lady Hambrook will gain a secret. Okay. The Harbor Master will not gain a secret. He has honor of six. However, Mayor Carver will gain a secret. And that puts him at three because uh, they start with three. It says, has three or more, we immediately reveal them. All right, so let's go ahead and immediately reveal some of these. Uh, no effect, a second life, okay. Ah, the elder is either, is the villain or direct control of the villain. Shit. Okay. And then this one had no effect. So, he is now with the bad guy. Wow. Elder of the Dark Gods. So, he, we're going to go there. And then, she's going to gain another secret. Because we rolled high when we shouldn't have. Let's see what happens with her. Witchcraft, no effect. Maniac, no effect. And guilty conscience, no effect. Okay, well, she's a good person. The widow Jessica. Whew. Okay, well, that was a uh, that was a horrible turn. But let's get going. Katrina's at the end. I mean, we start buying some stuff now. Um, so let's see what I want to do with her. She rolls a three. Let's go one, two, three. Let's go to the monastery. She's going to have an encounter at the monastery. Uh, immediately heal one wound and gain one investigation. Well, we won't have to heal uh, anything, but we do gain an investigation. And I think we're going to buy something here. We're going to take the top three cards. Holy water. Oath of Devotion and this bad boy. And I will take this bad boy because this thing lets me get rid of mystery cards. So, there we go. Okay. Ah, Valera there. She rolls a three. One, two, three. She's at the bridge. She gets an event. And play immediately to gain plus one spirit. Okay. And our player, right? Well, he rolls a one, so, uh, eesh. So I have to roll for lingering. Okay, we pass that. He's going to get an event. Um,. Okay, and he will have to do the Forgotten Island. Combat, plus three, Enchanted Pistol. Well, that works out really well. That Actually, that's pretty good right there. So, wow. Okay. And that is the end of that turn. Now, let's do the mystery phase again. Late night experiments. If Dr. Manning is alive... Uh... I think he's dead, right? No, he's still alive, yeah. 
Roll d6 for every ally and animal item currently in play on a roll of 5 plus removed from the game. Alright, so I have the coachman. And that's it. And it's fine. Okay. Hilaria there. She'll move. One, two, three. She's got to go to the monastery. So we'll go here. She'll try to get some of this investigation. Doesn't get any. And let's see. She gets. Oh man, now I've got to draw another mystery card. This is backfiring on me here. Um, oh. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Roll once on the villain's menu chart. She's in empty space to place that minion on. Okay, um, we need a minion. Okay, we get a. Um, the feral kin. I guess I'll put it here at the windmill. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. All right, Victor. Four. He's gonna move two, three, four, and Katrina. Uh, she rolls a three. I probably will go. Let's go one, two, three. Uh, she's gonna gain investigation. And then we'll just have an encounter at the end. Uh, make a cunning four test and gain one investigation for every four plus rolled. All right, she has a cunning of three. All right, well, she makes uh, one of them successful. And that's it. Okay, it's the mystery phase. Every hero must immediately discard an item or ally. Yeah, if the shadow track is in the red, those discard cards are also removed from the game. Okay. Um, I don't want to risk the chalice to get rid of it because I won't have to. So, this is what I'm going to do. She gets rid of the coachman. Okay. She doesn't have an ally or item, so she will not have to get rid of anything. He will get rid of the enchanted pistol. However, he will play immediately to take any item out of a discard pile. So he just gains that back. Okay. And now it's Victor's turn. And so he's got to go to the lighthouse. Well, he gets to the lighthouse. Let's see what he has there. Roll once on the villain's minion chart and work out the result. Four, which is a feral kin. Okay, so we're going to put a feral kin there. Um, hmm. And we have to fight that thing. Um, they hit on a four, five, or six. They have three fight dice. Okay. Now he actually has a combat of four because of his uh, enchanted pistol. Okay, so they hit him twice, and he got popped. Um, he popped them one time, which is all they they need. They only take one wound. Um, man, he got popped twice though, so he's gonna have to take two hits. He will gain three investigation for that. And we take that feral kin back off the board. 
Okay, I gotta get him to a doctor though. So, or he can heal. Only he does have enough investigation. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's we can pay. I mean, to heal. So he heal those wounds on his own. Alright, Katrina. Oh, that's the wrong die, sorry. She rolls five. She's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And Valeria. She got to get to the monastery. She goes one, two, three, four, five. And she has a brother. Okay, now she cannot have this. So, uh, may not use, not carry cards that are holy. So, we have to get rid of this. Uh, brother Darius will not join her. So, he is holy. So, we just get rid of that. Um. Now, I'm thinking about seeing what she could buy at the monastery. She has plenty of investigation. Stupid book is holy. Oops, 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 and oops. Scroll of knowledge. Man, all this stuff is going to be holy, isn't it? Well, this is not. And she will take this. It's not a gun. Uh, it is not a holy, it is a flail, it is seven. She will gain that. And she will buy that. That will give her a plus two combat. So that was actually pretty good. Alright, and then that is it. Let's start our next mystery phase. And we have no one is safe. The villain attacks killing any, killing one of the <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're going to have to play the chalice. We're going to cancel that card. You may cancel any event or mystery card after each each roll of d6 on a 1 or 2 remove it from the game. So we're going to get rid of that card, and we have to roll, and we get to keep the chalice. So it was a risk, but it was worth it. Okay, so Katrina is going to go. She rolls a 4. She needs to go to the shipwreck. So she's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. I'd like to get her a weapon as well, but let's do the shipwreck first. Valeria, she rolls a two. Hmm. Okay, we'll just move her here. See if her honor can pick any of those up. No. And let's see what happens. A one again. Good God. I'm rolling terrible with this. And this is every minion on the board immediately moves two spaces along the shortest towards town hall okay well I, I can handle that we can do that um, one two one two okay and now Victor he rolls a two one two and that's basically it all right next mystery phase a wave of the roll once on the villain's menu chart and place that minion as well as two. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna roll the chalice. Shit! All right, we got rid of the chalice. We have to remove it from the game. We cannot get it back now. <coughs> that was not too good. All right, Katrina will go. She rolls a five. One, two, three. Four five. She's at the shipwreck. All right, treasure map. Okay. Valeria. She goes three exactly. Let's see if she can get any of that investigation. She doesn't get one of them. And then we have to roll. Please don't roll a one or two. All right. Well, that's terrible. Okay. Here we go. Roll once on the villain's menu chart. Okay. Rat's nest. And we get to decide where we're going to place it. And we're going to place it up here at the manor. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. She gains an investigation. Okay. And uh, Victor, 
five. Okay, I'm going to send him to the town square. Hmm. <coughs> I am not actually. We're going to one, two, three, and we're going to stay there. And that's going to be the end of the turn. Okay, the madness. This card plays on the hero who drew it. That is Victor. During your turn, you may no longer move normally. Instead, during your move phase, draw a... Ah, damn it. Okay, let me see if I have anything to help. I don't... So he has the madness now. So that's that's great. Huh. Okay, notes. Alright, the rats in each turn rats will pour from the rats nest and begin swarming their way towards town hall until the nest can be destroyed. At the start of each mystery phase, put a rats marker in the first available board space to town hall. Okay. <laughs> huh. I didn't read that. So Alright, we'll put that there. Well, I should have read that, so there we go. Rats. Okay. And that's it. So it's Katrina's turn. Jeez. She does five. Um let's do two. And then she will try to uh get some investigation. And she gets the throw three of them. And then, uh, let's draw, don't roll a one or two. All right, finally, an event. Uh, play to cancel any mystery card that is keyword hysteria. Okay, well, we're ending that madness right then and there. <laughs> that could come at a better time. <laughs> okay, Valeria, she's going to go. She rolls a one. She will get an event. You play to discard any event or mystery card that remains in play. Okay. And Victor. Well, he no longer has the madness. Um, let's roll. Okay. Um, I'm going to send him there. We're going to kill that rats. One, two, three, four, five. All right, draw an event. Uh, okay. And that is the end of the turn. So, of course, we're going to put a rat's marker. And that's going to bump this feral kin here. Okay, and there we go. We're going to draw a mystery card. This plays on the villain. Okay. Uh, plus one combat, and we will discard this to get rid of that. And now it's Valera's turn. God damn it with the ones. Uh, play the search event, discard, and take any non play immediately card. They're in the hand. Okay, well, I can take that back. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, we're gonna fight this guy right here. We're gonna try to kill him. Uh, they have three, we have four. We just need one wound. And we get one wound, they don't get any on us. Oh, they do get, they get one hit because they hit on four, five, or six, that's fine. But we kill him. And we're gonna gain three investigation for that. And let's do the event. Uh, okay. And Katrina, we're going to get her going. Four. She can go two, three. And I think I'm going to try to get her to buy something as well. She could use something good, but we have to have a village encounter. 
Um, let's see what we get. Dead Man's Fog. You may not interact with the space God, this turn. Okay, well, I can't interact, so it's like I'm not buying anything. All right, well, that's the end of the turn. And this rat's nest now is coming to our space. There we go. Let's see what happens. At the start, put in rats. Chain adding. Rats do not display 60 minions. Okay. They do not. Ex okay, so. Alright, I never would have fought this guy then. He never would have got pushed. So let me give them back the three investigation. And he gets his wound back. Um, whenever a hero enters or starts to move into space with a rat's marker, roll a d6. On a one or two, the hero must lose one ally or one wound. If the rat's nest is defeated, remove all rat. Okay. So I have to roll a d6. Alright, that's no problem. Okay. So there's that. All right, so I got to I got to get over there pretty quick. That feral kin's gonna be in my way. Eh. All right, let's do the mystery phase. Here we go. Move the shadow track. Now I'm gonna play this. We are not going to move the shadow track. We'll play that, but we will roll once on the minion three, which is a feral kin. I can choose where to put them. And I guess I will put them at the icy waters. Okay, and that is it. Alright, so Victor's going to go. Okay, we're moving him here. Now I have to roll first for that. That's fine, I don't take damage. I have to fight the feral kin, so let's hope I do better this time, or do as good as I did last time. I'm just going to get one wound. I didn't get any wounds, and they got two on me. Oh, boy. Um, play to cancel any roll on any chart. No. Um, play to line hero to reroll any number of their fight dice. Okay, Battle Fury, we're going to play that. So I will reroll any number of my fight dice, and I will. Okay, well that's better. I take two wounds, but I do kill him. So now he's dead. And I get three investigation, but I'm going to pay and heal those wounds. Okay, and that's Victor's turn. Trina. Um... We're going to roll for Linger. Because I want to buy something. That's fine. Okay. Alright. So, I want another village encounter. But I... Counts as a coastal town item. Okay. Anytime you roll one, two, or three for movement, you also gain that much investigation. Next time you... Okay. You must, you must, okay. Okay. I can discard him instead of losing. Let's see if I want to... I have three items here I can buy. A boatman. I need to... Okay. I will buy the boatman. Plus one combat. And next is Valeria five. One, two, three, four, five. Almost there. And that is it. Okay, so we're going to put a rat's thing at Town Hall. And now we get a mystery card. If Lord Hambrook is still alive, uh, it's Lady Hambrook. He is not. He's dead. So, if he has been killed or joined the villain, move the shadow track two steps closer to darkness. Okay. And I don't have anything to prevent that from doing that. No. 
No. Okay. So, he's getting moved. One, two. He's going to gain another plus two. And uh, she will gain two investigation. And we have to roll on the chart now. That's seven. Roll once on the villain's menu chart and work out the results. Five. Werewolf attack. The villain attacks. Okay. It says uh, if the minion or the villain attacks, draw a random location for placement. Okay. Well, he's attacking the lighthouse. There is nobody at the lighthouse. Okay. So we have to place two investigation at the lighthouse and move the shadow track one step closer. We'll give her another mystery. Alright. Let's go for Katrina. She can roll six. So we're going to send her one, two, three, four. She automatically picks that up. She doesn't have to roll for that because of this, uh, this treasure map. And she will have a lighthouse encounter. Make a spirit honor test and gain three investigation for five plus roll. Okay, well, she has a spirit of two. She rolled a six on there. So she gains three investigation. All right, now her honor is six. So I imagine she should do... All right, well, she got three more investigations. So she, now she has a ton of investigation. Okay. All right. All right. Larry here, and she's at the Smuggler's Cove. Make an honor five plus test successful we'll gain two investigation for, and immediately move to an, and encounter a random location. Okay, um, her honor is three. She failed, and it says if failed, you may not move next turn but must linger here. And now him. Alright, so he can move here. He's got that rat's nest he's got to try to kill. However, he's got to roll to see if he takes a wound. He does. Okay. So the rat's nest is three fight dice. Man, damn. Four wounds. Wow, man. We're going to have us a fight. Wow. Three fight dice. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna we gotta kill that thing, man. Okay, well he did one and I did one, so I'm gonna take a wound. And it's gonna take a wound. And we are going to go again. Okay, so I do three wounds to it. I kill it. It's going to do one wound to me, which would kill me, but uh, play at any time to prevent a hero taking up to two wounds. So we'll play that. We defeat the rat's nest. Four, plus one for each rat marker removed. So I'm going to gain eight investigation, to be honest with you. And that's good. Three. Okay, and I'm going to spin two, and another two. I'm going to heal. Okay. Man, that worked out pretty good. And that is the end of the turn. And you know what? I'm going to, it's time to start working on getting a layer card now. But we have to do this mystery phase. Let's see what happens. Uh, play this card on Widow Jessica while she is still alive. Anytime the shadow track moves, it, it moves an additional space. Okay, she is still alive. That's her remains in play, and I'm going to get rid of that card. Okay, so now it is Valeria, and I'm going to buy a layer card. It's only going to cost me three. Let's see. Because I have to linger here, so... I don't take the penalty for it. 
I do have to do a smuggler's cove. I uh, roll three dice and choose the highest number. Collect investigation equal to that number. If any doubles were rolled, uh, okay, no doubles were rolled, and I do gain six investigation. Okay, and let's see where the layer is going to be at. It is going to be the abandoned keep. At the start of the showdown, you may make an on first first round of showdown. Way over there on the other side. Um, okay, I, next turn, I can move her with the secret thing and get her somewhere over there. Okay, so Victor, God damn, I rolled a one for him, so we're moving him one, he's going to gain an event, play it immediately, put a militia marker, let's put one here at the band and keep. Okay, and then... Trina, she rolls a one as well. That's not what we want. Uh, okay. Um, um, that was, she bought her layer card at the abandoned keep. <laughs> All right, let's play the mystery phase. Roll once on the villain's minion chart and place that minion on the board at a random location. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Okay, so it's going to go here. She gains an investigation. Move the shadow track one step closer. Right, well, let's put a three, which is a feral kin. And the feral kin is going at the end. All right. All right. So it's Victor's turn. There you go. One, two, three, four. Okay. Katrina. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's at the old woods. It's not a bad move there. Creepy Vines. Make a combat 6 plus test. If passed, gain 3 investigation. If failed, take D3 wounds. Ah, jeez. Ah, man, my combat is actually 2, 3. Oh, I got it. Look at that. Gain 3 investigation. I mean, you know what? I want her to buy one more thing, man. Okay. And then she will go. Instead of moving, you may pay one investigation to move to or from the abandoned keep. And we will do that. And we will go to the abandoned keep. And let's have an encounter. Okay, plus one cunning. Okay. Let's do the mystery phase. Alright, place his card on Laura Hambrook. Uh, while he's alive. Well, he's dead. Uh, if he's dead or joined the villain, this card that moved the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Ah! Oh. Okay, well, it's going to go here. This is going, he's getting a plus one combat. And now, we have to roll on the advanced mystery phase. Nine. Unnatural storm has blown over town. Immediately discard any mystery card and play it as keyword weather. Also, roll once on the mini chart. We're rolling any non event. It does that around. Okay. So, we're going to have either three. I got to keep rolling until I either get a non event. Three, five. All right. Attack. So, he will attack. And it's going to be at a random location. It is the South Dock. There is nobody at the South Dock, so we put two investigation there. However, we have to move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Okay, so Katrina 
is up. She's going to go. And I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to stay at Town Hall f six. I'm going to go to the blacksmith. Let's draw an event. Uh, okay. And we're going to buy some items here. Hmm. Well, that's not every time you draw an That's not good. All right, so I got to buy something. So let's buy the book of town history. Those are not great items. And Valera, uh, we got a roll for linger. Fine, and we're gonna have another encounter at the abandoned keep. Uh, item ward holy, she cannot have that. And then Victor, <laughs> he rolled a one, and this is his event. Okay, and now the mystery phase. When rolling for lingering, a hero is now attacked on a roll of one or two instead of one. Okay, that's fine. It's Valera. Okay, so Valera here is going to uh, start a showdown. We have to pay the cost of three, which we will. Uh, Victor, he's going here. He's going to take part. He's going to pay his three. And then she will go. Ah, oh, crap, that was not a good... Good roll. Two. She would draw an event. All right. So we're gonna have us a. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just to remind to pay the three. And we're gonna have a showdown and. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, first things first. I can peek at a town elder. Secrets. Man. Magistrate Croft would look. Let's see. Okay. Okay, well, uh, we will take Magistrate Croft. With us. And we have the militia. Okay, so we have that. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with our heroes here. We have Victor. Um, okay, once per... Katrina's not here. Okay, she's going to trade him. She's going to give him that... This is no good. Okay, this is no good. So, those aren't any good. So, he has this. Okay, I'm going to use this. And I'm, it's going to let me put a resolve token on our buddy here, this elder. So he can take a, an extra hit. <coughs> okay, so <clears throat> the werewolf has a fight dice of six. And then we have this evil idiot here, seven. 
So I have seven dice. But the werewolf gets to resolve his first. So we're going to start with him. Okay, wow. He, one, two, three, four, five hits on my dude. Now he has to attack the militia with one of them. So we're going to put that on the militia there. So it that effectively knocks out the militia. Okay, so now we have four hits. <clears throat> Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, we can play this card to allow him to prevent two of these. So he's going to take two wounds. Okay, now we're going to attack. Now we can add, um, we have this card <coughs> to add. their spirit to their combat okay for one fight round so we will do that spirited attack and then we're gonna let him play this give him plus two spirit Hmm. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Add cunning. Cunning to your combat. Okay. So I'm going to pay three investigation. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay three investigation. And I get to add my cunning to my combat. Uh, for one fight round. Now my cunning will be six. And then four is ten. So I get ten combat. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this guy is attacked. Okay. So let's see here. I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now. Um. I have to spend one of those to kill this idiot. However, oh, I can't target him in a fight. That's right. You know this card, this secret. The villain gains an extra plus two wounds, and this he may not be targeted in a fight, so he can't be targeted. So, yeah. So, all right, I'll just discard this card and then just give him an extra plus two. Okay. Alright, so <clears throat> Alright, so that's how that works. Let's start with this. Okay, so this was hit. I put that on him. So I did one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds to the werewolf. Okay, so that's two, four, six, and then one extra wound to the werewolf. However, I don't have anything that will stop me from being hurt. So what's going to happen is, is, um, and actually may pay my name car. Hold on. There's something I could have done that. Actually, before I would have started, I would have did this. I would pay for investigation for that. The I say card. And then I would use the I say to prevent 
this last wound from happening. So, um, I'm still alive with one hit. Then, what I want to do is I only have two investigation left. But it says, you may break old carving during a fight to make an extra free attack using spirit instead of combat. Okay, I'm going to do that. Now, okay, what I want to do is I'm going to give myself two spirit, which is going to be six, and then, ah, no, I can only use spirit, okay. This is giving me six spirit, six combat. So, and that's one, two, three more hits on him. Okay. Now, Katrina is not here. Okay. So, um,. We're going to have to do a mystery phase. <clears throat> uh, at the end of this round. Because she's not part of the showdown yet. Okay. So we have Valeria. Okay. Now. Uh, Remember the werewolf. Gets to attack first. He has six. Seven combat. So it's one, two, three. Four, five, six. And then we can reroll one that's not doing anything. Okay, he hits those and then one more. Okay. So I'm gonna have to he gets plus one. So I'm gonna have to spend that on him. Okay. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna spend his one and hit Magistrate Croft. Magistrate Croft's resolve token will come off the board. That's four hits on Valeria. Now um However, I'm going to play Knocked Away. Play this card when a hero takes one or more wounds in a fight. Prevent all those wounds and instead choose one item that hero must discard. Okay? And it hurts me to do it, but I have to get rid of the flail. Okay, but if I want to stay alive, okay, so now it's her turn. Now, um, she has a combat of three. Okay, she hit twice, so that's two more wounds on the werewolf. Okay, so it's going to be... big one there okay now that's the end of that we have the mystery phase and now we have minus one honor on her okay so now Katrina she can get here to the abandoned keep she's already paid her investigation she's ready to go okay <clears throat> so I will spend as Victor I will spend my last two investigation and I will heal one wound Katrina doesn't have anything uh, okay so the werewolf will now go and he gets seven dice Okay, he only got two hits. He only got two hits on that. And I have to make this one be him. So, he got two hits on our boy here. And... Um... Actually... That last die, yeah, that last die was for him. Yeah, it's two hits. Okay. However, that is still good enough to kill 
Victor. Victor cannot do anything about it. I don't have anything that heals. Nope. And he's hurt just enough already. And yeah. So he is dead. He cannot attack. Okay. So now the werewolf will attack Katrina. Okay. He got three hits on her. Okay. Three hits. So she takes three hits. Nothing she can do to prevent that. Once you may force an opponent to reroll one of their fight dice against you. Well, we might as well. Maybe we can get lucky. Yeah, we do. Okay. And then do I get to keep the chor torch? Yes. Okay, I don't need this. Okay, so her combat <clears throat> is because her and Victor were able to trade at the beginning of the fight round because we knew Victor was going to die. Um, she has this good combat here. She has, uh, it's time you're okay. Oh, we can lose Samson. Okay, uh, we have four uh, combat right there, plus two is six, and I want to play this, it's going to let me add my spirit to my, con well, nah, we're going to give that to her, just in case on the off end she survives that, alright, so, um, and, uh, so she has a combat of one, two, four, six. And she hits on fours, fives, and sixes. Okay, one, two. Wow, that was that was an excellent. That's five hits right there. So she does another five hits to him. Wow. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Now we are attacking Valeria. Okay, so we get the regular werewolf hit. Alright, that's one, two hits. And then the town elder is going to attack. And he hits, and he's going to kill Magistrate Croft. Or I can have her take the wound. I'm going to have her take the wound. Um, dang it, you know what, I forgot to give her plus two fight dice last turn. I'll tell you what, hold on. Okay, alright, Magistrate Croft is dead. He took the wound from this guy, he's dead. Okay, so there he goes, he's no longer in play. Okay, so we took, uh, two wounds. It's fine. Okay. We're going to get to attack, and we're going to add our combat and spirit together. Now our spirit is three, and our combat is three, so it's going to be six. Okay, and I only did one freaking hit. Oh my god, that was terrible. Uh... Wow. Okay, well, she did one hit. Oh man, we are three hits short of killing this guy. But, yeah. Okay, so now it's the werewolf's turn, and he's going to attack Katrina. Okay, so he does two hits on her. However, we can force her to reroll each of their fight dice. I still hit. All right, so still hits, and we don't have to discard that. So she would be knocked out. However, it's not gonna, we can get rid of him. Next time you're KO'd, you must discard stamps and instead of losing any other. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Next time you, you must. Oh no 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 no. Never mind. He doesn't. That doesn't count. Okay. So because of that crappy thing.
she will not get to attack. She's going to take the wounds <coughs> and it will kill her because the werewolf attacks first. That's what's so hard about this guy. I don't have enough stuff to combat it. Okay, well, <laughs> because we were not able to finish him off, yeah, it looks like we're going to lose. Okay, so now he's going to attack Valeria. And unless I just roll terrible, pretty sure she's going to die. Huh. That's actually a freaking excellent roll. And I have to roll for him, of course. But let's see what happens. Okay, he missed too. So, what happens now is, since they totally whiffed on every single die roll, she does get an attack. Now... It's not going to be much. It's three combat. It is not good enough. Um, but if I get three hits, all I'm, actually, how many do I need? I need three hits. If I can get all three of these hits, I got two. <laughs> okay, so that's two hits on the werewolf. All right, so the werewolf is one hit away from dying however um, the werewolf's going to get to go and I kind of seriously doubt we're going to whiff on every one of their attacks again so let's see what happens okay first the werewolf's going to go at the start of the showdown for every success you may cancel All right, I didn't do that that kind of stunk okay well that's three hits right there there's nothing I can do to block that and so the werewolf uh... yeah the werewolf kills her okay well oh man okay so you know um... this was a very good match um... we were one hit away from killing the werewolf I probably, because of this, <laughs> I probably could have maybe beat him. It could have gone either way. This guy is what hurt me. Um, because he was not allowed to be targeted. So I couldn't kill him. So I couldn't do anything about that. That was just bad. I thought I went into the fight prepared enough, but I'm going to tell you something. The werewolf began being able to attack first and resolve all his attacks before you get to resolve yours makes him a very hard villain. Otherwise, we would have won this showdown. Without that ability, we would have won. Um, so this was another classic touch of evil game. Uh, enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll of course be playing against a different villain. And um, we get back on our winning ways. So until then, I hope you enjoyed it and have fun.